Space travelers surround me Hark now to the ballad of Rockin' Robin Hood I may well confound you, astound you, spellbound you With heroes and villains, the bad and the good Watch now as our rockets race here from afar For now with our Robin we live on a star Returning from a successful day's hunt on the Royal Game Preserve, Little John races through space toward Sherwood Asteroid. Hmm. Looks like we got company. That's one of them. I'm sure of it. Activate the X-ray scope. I don't know who you are, Buster, but you don't look friendly. Ah, so. It is one of them, the big one, who is called Little John. This is one of the so-called merry men who won't be merry. Range 240, aim 0 plus 6. Make sure you do not hit him. He's valuable to us alive. High setting, fire one. Now I know you're not friendly. He challenges us to a race in that junk pile of his. Our rockets pull ahead. Oh, I'm getting tired of this game. Suppose you be the mouse and I'll be the cat for a while. He's directly on our tail, sir. Just the maneuver I was expecting. Well executed also, I might add. Stand by the gas valve. Prepare to discharge the hypnotic pellet at my command. What now? I hate to blast you out of the sky without even knowing who you are. That's it, little giant. Just a bit closer. Muscle-bound warrior is now under my power. He will now lead us to the elusive Sherwood asteroid, which will soon be ours. Prepare the boarding party. Little John. Yes? You will place your spacecraft in neutral rocket power and drift in the present orbit until I give you further instructions. Dispatch boarding party. <laughs> you for? What? But what that gorilla might be faking? He is not faking. He is completely under my power. Place the speaker on his back. Tune it into the same channel and return quickly. We've got a busy day before us. Little John, you will obey my every command. Is that clear? I will obey. You will lead us directly to Sherwood Asteroid. You will land your spacecraft and prevent Rocket Robin Hood and his men from activating 
their protective Astro Shield or firing their ground-to-air missiles. In fact, you will help us to annihilate every last man on the asteroid, including yourself. Do you understand? I understand. Excellent. Proceed immediately. This is wonderful. Using the enemy to assist in his own destruction has always been a favorite game of mine. Four rockets ahead full. Maintain contact. Where is that big O? I'm starving. If I have to wait much longer, my stomach will be touching my backbone. Don't worry, Friar. You've still got a good three feet to go. <laughs> oh, here comes little John now. The fool! He's forgotten the evasive maneuvers. Riding in here bold as you please for the whole universe to see. No, Friar, something's wrong. Little John is always careful to conceal our whereabouts. What if that idiot were followed? We He did. has been followed. Look at the edge of the orbit. Quick, to the tower. Activate the astral shield. Alert the missile crew. Remember, little John. No one must be permitted to reach the missile tower. I will obey. Out of the way, Clot. Leading the warlord in here as though you were conducting guided tours. What's the matter with you? We're under attack. Something's wrong with him. He's not himself. We'll have to move him. All together now. Robin, he's too much for the lot of us. You've got to use your bow. I can't turn my arrows on Little John. Well, you'd better do something and fast. Will Rocket Robin Hood be forced to turn his most deadly weapon on his dearest friend? Or will Sherwood Asteroid fall victim to Ming, fierce warlord of Saturn? of outer planetary space is new Sherwood Forest Asteroid. Fantastic headquarters of that swashbuckling cosmic highwayman of the 30th century, Rocket Robin Hood. Yes, here comes the one and only Rocket Robin Hood, gliding through galaxies in his search for star-shattering adventure. The interplanetary villains quiver in their space boots when they hear the merry ring of his laughter and feel the blast of his mighty electro quarter staff. Rocket Robin Hood, fun-loving astral adventurer in the astonishing years to come. Rocket Robin Hood, the happy outlaw of outer planetary space, is a direct descendant of Robin Hood of old. He's fast, with a joyful laugh, a ready jest, and a quiver full of futuristic arrows Robin robs from the cosmic rich to give to the astral pool. He's fun. He's fantastic. Robin Hood, merriest of the merry men in the astounding year 3000. been drugged by the warlord of Saturn, Little John has turned on his friends and is preventing them from defending themselves against the deadly space fortress. Quick, Rob, quick, Robin. 
You've got to use your bow on him. There's no other way. That fortress is starting its firing run. Friar, we've got trouble. I recognize that space fortress. That's Ming, the warlord of Saturn. He's not here to do us any favors. This won't be an easy shot, but it's worth a try. It worked! But too late. The fortress has already completed its firing run. He dropped something. What in the universe is that? Beats me, but knowing Ming, it means trouble, whatever it is. Everybody take cover. everything in its path. and pull back. I'll have to get closer and off to one side in order to get a clean shot at it. Retreat! Pull back! Get moving! Straight out there! Don't bunch up! just lost 11 perfectly good arrows. I've got the Friar Tuck special laser ray rifle with me. I'm gonna move up close and take a shot at that thing. Okay, but don't get too close. I'll be right back. Reflecting the beam. It's heading back at us. Hit the dirt! About this laser ray invention of yours, Friar. Any weapon is only as good as the man behind it. Oh, any man stupid enough to stand behind this one is likely to have his head blown off. Let's work this out later, shall we? That thing is heading straight for the tower and Little John. Eat hearty, my pet Oxabat. Think. Within the hour, the only mobile asteroid in the universe will be mine. It's remarkable how quickly the time passes when one is enjoying oneself. <laughs> get Little John out of there. We'll move the men back to the clearing. Where we go from there, I don't know. Back to the clearing on the double. Come on, Friar. Help me get Little John. Now you two have better wait here with me in case Robin and the Friar need help. Hurry, Friar. Can't go any faster, Robin. I can't breathe. Asteroid, what a prize. Do you realize what a great help a movable asteroid is going to be when we invade this galaxy? We can launch our attacks from any location we so desire. This is going to be a wonderful day. 
Everything in its path, the ravenous Oxivan makes its way slowly but surely toward Little John, Rocket Robin Hood, and Fire Tuck. Are they to be next on the menu? member of Rocket Robin Hood's band is Little John, the brawniest spaceman ever to rocket through the cosmos in the fantastic years to come. This Goliath of the galaxies has the might of a cosmic Hercules, the brute force of an unleashed meteor, combined with a truly super weapon, the Electro Quarterstaff. Little John, whose great strength is tempered with a simple, good-hearted kindness toward all living things. Mightiest of Rocket Robin Hood's merry men in the amazing years to come, Little John. When the problems of Rocket Robin Hood call for heavy thinking, then it's time for the one and only Friar Tuck to come to the rescue. Some, like the wicked sheriff of Knott, think him fat, foolish, and not worth worrying about. But don't you believe it. Friar Tuck, whose courage is as tremendous as his appetite, is just one of the astounding space characters in the merry band of Rocket Robin Hood in the fantastic years to come. John, from the deadly devouring machine, Friar Tuck and Robin collapsed for want of oxygen, directly in the path of the diabolical monster bent on consuming all of Sherwood Asteroid. It wasn't much fun, was it? Not in my book. I can't figure out what happened. I felt like I was suffocating. I'm afraid you were, my friend. What do you mean? I noticed the closer we got to that thing, the more difficult it was to breathe. True. It seems that the Oxivac is going to consume not only the landscape, but all the oxygen in our atmosphere as well. What? All the oxygen? I'm afraid so. Even if we escape being devoured by that thing, it looks as though we'll all suffocate. Ming has outdone himself with this scheme. Thank you. Rocket Robin Hood. I humbly accept the compliment. How clever of you to figure 
figure out the real menace of my masterpiece, the Oxovac. As it devours everything it touches, it creates a vacuum, causing it to inhale all the oxygen in the atmosphere. Soon you'll all be gasping for breath, all told. <laughs> it should be an interesting afternoon. And you with a ringside seat. I suppose this speaker device has something to do with little John's strange behavior. Correct again. He proved to be rather susceptible to hypnotic gas. He was most cooperative in leading me to your asteroid, which I planned to put to good use when I invade this galaxy. I knew you wouldn't be generous enough to give it to me, so I devised the Oxovac to remove the present occupants. Ah, the Oxovac, a stroke of genius. Inhales oxygen, you say? That it does, by the bag for. Well, it's been nice chatting with you, Warlord, but with one thing and another, I'm afraid I'll have to sign off. Of course, my friend. Not let me keep you from your own funeral. <laughs> You've got a plan up your sleeve. I have, Friar, thanks to the warlord himself. Well, it had better be good and fast. That oxy is getting uncomfortably close. What do you have in mind? From what the warlord tells us, it's my guess that the Oxivac stores pure oxygen in that sack, and oxygen is an extremely flammable gas. I don't mean to rush you, Robin, but if you could step it up a bit. Will, lend me your electronic sword. Help yourself. If I use my bow, maybe I can shoot the sword into that sack. The electricity ignites the oxygen, and boom! No more oxymax. Sounds like it should work, but you'd better get a move on. I'll circle around to the side. The rest of you move back as far as you can. If this works, things are going to get pretty hot around here. Closer! Closer! I can't see! enemy of Rocket Robin Hood is the cruel space tyrant Prince John, despot ruler of the National Outer Space Terrestrial Territories. With the help of the wicked Sheriff of Knott, the Black Prince plans for that terrible day when he will destroy and conquer the entire solar system. Well, he might, if it were not for Rocket Robin Hood. Rocket Robin Hood, outlaw defender of right in the astounding years to come. <laughs> Merry men, we 
Place to be on the side of the free with rocket.